Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make some easy AI for targets. I've put a picture of what the targets look like on the screen now. You can buy them online for like £5, but it's a lot cheaper and easier to make them yourself. And you can cut them to whatever shape or size you want. So the things you'll need is some colourful card, sellotape, a pen, a pair of scissors and some black paint. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get your cards that you're going to choose. I'm going to use blue for this video. And basically, what you want to do is grab a tape. Ball tape can be any tape. I'm going to use the bigger stuff, it's a lot thicker. It'll take me less time. So, all you want to do is just do cover the paper like I've done on these. Make sure no card is showing, so you cover the whole of the paper. It should take about five minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed the clip up of me putting the tape on. Okay, so now we've got four pieces of taped card, and now we're ready to design our targets. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sellotape on and trace around it. Probably get about four big circles out of this piece of A4. Let's see how many circles we get. One. Two. So you can just close to the other circles to make as much room as possible. Uh, three. Probably get four. Yep. And now there is a bit of room for a different circle. So I just grab a small little glass and Trace around that as well. Okay, so we won't get another one out of it, but that'll do. We've got four big circles and one small circle out of one piece. Okay, so we've just done the circle one on, I believe, the green one. So we've got four big circles and one small one. So we'll cut them out a bit later. But now we've got three remaining pieces of card. So what I'm going to do on the red one is Take the cut out of a pigeon, you just take a picture of a pigeon on the internet and chase it around and cut it out. And then once you've got a cut out, you can just chase around the card onto the back of the card you've just done. You probably get about two out of this piece of card. There's one. I do that side on just to get it all in. Right, so there we go. We got two pigeons out of that piece of card, and there's still some room for. A circle one, probably room for two circle ones, so may as well make them while we're here. Yep. There we go. That's our second card with a design on the back, we're ready to cut. Alright, so with this target, we got a picture of a man online, and um, we just traced around it. Um, onto paper and then cut the paper out and we trace around it onto card. I'll show you what the target looks like now. Okay so what I'll do now is I'll just forward the clip of me chasing around the target because it's a bit boring and then I'll show you what we did next.
Okay, so what I'm doing now is I cut out some red squares before, and now I'm going to be gluing them onto the target. This will show if you got a good shot on the man or a bad shot. So if you got a bad shot, the target's going to turn orange, and if you got a good one, it'll turn red. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so now both of the red squares are being glued on in place, and now all we need to do next is put the tape on. So I'm just going to speed up this clip of uh, me putting the tape on because it's a little bit boring again. Um, I didn't do as well putting the tape on as a thought here because I had a lot of air bubbles in the paint, and that's because I basically done it on film. I don't really film doing the targets, so it was a bit awkward trying to do it, but in the end you just have to squeeze the bubbles out of the tape and it looked uh, good enough anyway so after this we will take all of the targets that we've cut out and paint them okay so now we've got all of the targets that we've done today taped and ready for paint alright so now what I'm doing now is I tape the target down on a piece of cardboard so, so they won't blow away when they're drying um, you just want to give them even coats covering the whole of the target like I'm doing here and make sure there's no tape showing left and pretty much that's all you need to do so now I'll show you what the targets look like when they're done alright so this is what the targets look like when they're being shot as you see we put pins in and try and aim for them and they work well uh, every shot on the target it turned out orange but these are not the actual targets we made in the video because they don't have the red squares in I forgot to bring them on the day that we went shooting but I had some spares in my bag to use so if you enjoyed this video um, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this and as always thanks for watching